Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for watching this video today. I am going to be doing a quick review of this figure. This is the Killer Croc from Batman Arkham Asylum. And I was very excited when I see this figure um, went for pre-order because I love the look. I know that it's not entirely accurate to the video game, but I just love how it looks. The, the whole prison suit, um, the sculpt, everything to me is just amazing. It's gonna look even better once I give it a like a black wash or like dry wash, whatever it's called. Uh, it's gonna look even better like that, but just like this, I I like it. So this figure has a lot of potential uh, to be a great figure in your display. So let's review it. One of the things that I like is if you can see right here, you see that they added some black uh, wash, which is great. It gives it a lot of. Uh, detail and this is something what i want to do on the rest of the pants it's not going to be this dark obviously but uh yeah i just don't want it to look just orange and another thing that i like is the skin everything on the skin is just great it has some wash right here and it's all right you know but um everything else just looks uh empty so i want to give it a, a dry uh, wash over there to make this figure look even better. This figure is, it's a little under nine inches and a half or nine inches and a half, depending the angle that you see it. It's, uh, I would say it's a little under and it's not entirely accurate to the size in the video game, but it's still a big figure. And to compare it, I have my custom uh, Batman Arkham Knight. And this is my favorite uh, figure. It has like a great armor. To me, this is one of the most realistic armors for Batman, right? Because if you were a superhero, that's what you would wear. You would wear this armor right here, everything. To me, this just looks great. And as you can see, I made a custom out of this figure. I repainted it to give it a better look. And that's what I'm planning to do with this one. So... Later in the future, I am going to do this one uh, to, to make it look better. But I just put them together so you guys can see the size comparison. Uh, I have also a vein from the, the last night. And this is the Builder figure. Obviously, I also customized it. Uh, this figure is supposed to be gray all over the skin and the mask is different. This green part right here is, it was actually from Scarecrow. I cut it, I painted it green, and then I glue it to the head, and then I glue it to this part. I'm gonna make a video with all the custom figures that I have done, I have done. But anyways, the only reason why I wanted to show it is because I wanted to put, uh, so you guys can see the size difference. Obviously the, the largest um, figure that we have from McFarlane, I believe is this one, the Swamp, swamp uh thing right here uh it's gonna it's gonna struggle to stand up but yeah so basically this is the size difference between some something and um the killer croc so yep that's the difference anyways let me get these figures out of the way i'm probably just gonna put them on the bag i know this has nothing to do uh with the video game but i'm just gonna leave it right there because i like it so this figure uh, the neck goes up about this much, right? So it's good. It doesn't go down because this thing gets on the way. So it doesn't go down because of that. Uh, you can probably try to make it go down with the up crunch, which it works. It's not the best one, but we have seen worse from McFarlane. <laughs> Now, one of the things that helps is this part, the waist, because not only this is normal and then you make it lower, but then this, you can put it even lower because of this part right here. And also the legs help a little bit. So if you want to be looking down at Batman, you can maybe make it look like this, something like this, right? All right. I cannot really see on the camera. So anyways, I'm just going to assume that you guys can see it right the shoulder the shoulder goes up about this much 
uh, he rotates all the way like this. It doesn't have a bicep swivel, but it has the elbow one, which I'm not a big fan of it, but it does its job. The elbow is a single joint, so it doesn't go all the way up. And it's understandable because for a big guy like this uh, that is muscular, you, you can't do it, you know? Now, for example, Bane right here, he doesn't do it at all either, you know? He has big arms, so... Usually figures like this can't, uh, they don't have a, a double uh, double joint right here because they, they can't just go all the way. Uh, you can rotate it from right here. Oh, the wrist. The wrist, you can rotate it. You can go up and down. No articulation on the fingers, but that's normal. Uh, you can rotate it from right here. 360. You can also rotate it from the waist. 360 as well and the legs the legs go about this far so for a big figure like this I think it's really good right so this vein this vein has no articulation at all yeah you can move the arms the head but it's basically like a statue it doesn't have uh, much articulation something uh it goes about this high. Let me see Lobo. Lobo is not a... Is, I don't think he's considered a big figure. Yeah, Lobo can go high. About this. But for a big figure like this, I think he goes up enough. All right, so you can also rotate it. 360. So I guess you can consider this uh, like a tight swivel. Um... The knees are double joint. It goes up about this much. And then the ankle. The ankle doesn't go up up and down that much. It's all right. And then this thing, I think this thing is really weird. <laughs> it goes up like this. Actually, when I got it on the box, it was like this. And when I saw it from far away, I was like, what is wrong with that figure? Uh, but then I saw that it was the, the toe articulation, which is this right here. So, yep, this is the articulation on this figure. I think it's okay. You know, for, for a big figure, I don't think it's bad. Uh, I just wish the neck would look down more. And also, when you rotate the neck, it basically goes up. And that's one of the things that I, I don't really like about this figure. But it's it's common with the big figures. With the Bane, it does the same thing. Not as much, but, but it also does the same thing. It's not like the skinny figures that if you make it go up, uh, like to the side, you can look at it like this, right? So this is great. On big figures, usually the head, because the the way the back is, when you try to go on the side, you can't. So the only way to go to the side is to rotate it up. So that's not the best look, but I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything better from McFarlane on articulation on the neck for for this type of figures. Uh, anyway, so yep, really short review. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look on this figure. I know that there is a lot of reviews already out there. I know that I am behind, and uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what this figure looks like because I am planning on making a video with all the custom figures that I have made 